Hello, YouTube. It's your pal, the Two Wheel Maniac, and uh, there have been a lot of things going around the internet lately, and I want to do one right here if we can. I want to do a first gear challenge. Agents of the Resistance. We must rise. We must resist. Nope, not gonna get the red light. Alright, that'll have to wait. No, it won't. First gear. Second. Alright, I couldn't couldn't hold on the second. 78.9 miles an hour on an on-ramp is a little nuts, especially when you've got a few cars in front of you. And you're usually merging in the dense traffic. <clears throat> now, how do I know 78.9 miles per hour? I don't! Especially since I don't have any speedometers or tachometers or any of that stuffs. But, uh, when I built this and I did a whole bunch of modifications, um, I used a great tool. Now, if you're ever... Let's actually back up a little bit here. Why are people doing all these first gear challenges? Well, it's simple. Most bikes now are so powerful, especially once you get in the 600 and liter bike range, that you can't, you can't use all the power all the time. But first gear, in most bikes, is not going to get you a ticket on the highway. Um... Most bikes, super, super duper sports like, you know, the new R1, the S1000 double R, probably even the Panigale 1299, first gear will probably get you close to 80, so I could still get you a ticket in just about everywhere. But most bikes, um, they're not. But you can't find out what's my top speed in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear. There's no, people can't do that. But there is a great tool that uses um, simple mathematics to help you out. And I use that tool a lot when I was building and making the modifications to the VFR. The gearing, the stock gearing on the VFR is normally a 16 tooth up front and a 43 tooth in the rear. Now, I wanted to go balls out. I wanted a bike that would accelerate faster, pull harder, and give me more horsepower. Because I wanted something that I, and not necessarily more horsepower, but feels like more horsepower. I wanted it to wheelie a little bit easier. Um, although the VFR is not a wheelie machine, you can get it up. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, so I thought about it a lot, and Gearing Commander is a great tool for you to check out because you pick your bike and almost every bike that I know of is in there and you can kind of see your top speeds in those gears. Now, for this clip, uh, you would have seen, hopefully, a speedometer come on the screen and let you know how fast I was going. And that's thanks to the fact that the Sony Action Camera has GPS built in. Boom! Oh, I love it. But, uh, most tools don't have that. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. It's a pain to get that on there, like I have to render it in the Sony software, and then save it, and then pull it up in Vegas. I really wish Vegas would just incorporate that, since it's still a Sony product, but um, maybe they have, I'm on 11, I think there's that 13 now, maybe they have on 13, I'm not sure. I'll probably upgrade soon, <laughs> once I make that monies. Alright, do I be a dick? Um... But yeah, so I use Gearing Commander, and uh, to decide what changes I wanted to make, I didn't want to go too crazy, I didn't um, want to lose my entire power band, and actually that's kind of what I did, I, I went, I went full retard, to quote that guy in that movie who was playing the dude disguised as another dude, Robert Downey Jr., you went full retard, never go full retard. Um... But it did. I, I went full 
too I went too much. I, I went all the way to the point where it's beyond what I wanted. I went minus one up front, plus four in the rear. I'm running a um, 15 up front, a 47 in the rear. I had to get that 47 custom uh, from Vortex. Uh, you can't just go on Amazon or eBay. You got to go directly from Vortex. Back to the first gear challenge. So I used Gearing Commander to, to make my calculations and tell me what, you know, what I think I wanted. And it worked great. So, from what I know, the top speed in first gear is normally 56, 58 miles per hour. That's pretty good. I, I like cars, I like vehicles that'll get me to 60 in first gear. Gives me some real oomph in the trunk, you know what I mean? See, that's where I would have been. Look how far ahead I'm getting. Oh, such a good shortcut found this thing like years ago first gear tops out around 46 then around 65 then 78.9 so I'm really curious to see if that's actually what happened Um, and if the GPS actually caught up fast enough, we'll see. So yeah, first gear, second gear, third gear challenge, complete, or almost complete with the third gear challenge. Uh, but if you want to know, be sure to check out GearingCommander.com, um, and you can see your ma mathematically calculated, so not always accurate, especially, you know, with headwinds and crosswinds and things like that, rider weights, um, but mechanically calculated top speeds for your gears, including any changes you make, which is pretty cool. It also lets you know if you are doing like drastic teeth changes, um, how many more chain links do you need to add or remove, which is pretty cool. Um, all the great tool, be sure to check it out, gearingcommander.com, link to it in the description down below. So, thank you guys so much for another episode here at the Crazy Asylum. I know I went off tangent a little bit and rode like a a maniac the two-wheel maniac um but yeah if you're a subscriber of mine let me know what do you think of the, the all the first gear challenges that uh, you're seeing around the the internets and check out that website let me know what you think if you're not a subscriber be sure to hit that subscribe button that way you get notified of all my cool and crazy content tuesdays thursdays and fridays where we're all about ride crash build repeat and then occasionally some off-topic things uh, but I live to ride and ride to live. Four wheels moves the body, two wheels moves the soul. All that nonsense. Well, it's not really nonsense. It all makes sense. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Until next time, guys. It's your pal, Two Wheel Maniac. Thank you guys so much. Stay hungry, stay foolish, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh!